Unlike a pocket mask, a BVM delivers ambient air, allowing the patient to receive a higher concentration of oxygen. If local protocols allow, supplemental oxygen should be attached to the BVM as soon as appropriate and when enough resources are available. Doing so can increase the oxygen concentration to approximately 90 to 100 percent. When you're the only provider present to operate the BVM, follow these steps. First, select an appropriately sized BVM. Then, if necessary, assemble the BVM. Next, position yourself behind the patient's head in a cephalic position. Place the mask at the bridge of the nose and lower it over the nose, mouth, and chin. The mask should not extend past the patient's chin. To hold the mask in place, position one hand around the mask forming a C with the thumb and index finger and an E with the last three fingers. This is the EC hand position. Then seal the mask completely around the patient's mouth and nose by lifting the jaw into the mask. Be sure to maintain an open airway in the past neutral position. Depress the bag about halfway to deliver a volume of 400 to 700 milliliters. Provide smooth, effortless ventilations that last about one second and begin to make the chest rise. Remember, ventilations that are too fast or have too much volume can be dangerous. Although a single provider often uses a BVM, evidence shows that two providers are needed to most effectively operate the equipment. I'll maintain an open airway and seal the mask using an EC hand position with both hands, like this. And while Greg is doing that, I'll deliver ventilations by gently squeezing the bag about halfway to make the chest begin to rise, like this. Each ventilation should last about one second. 